Welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to build a MCP server using the Python and deploy it to the Azure app and test with the MCP inspector or the Postman tool, right? So, so essentially, first I will show you uh, the building a MCP server using Python use in the VS Code, and then um, uh, I will I briefly show you how to uh, do the deployment or host this into the azure uh, azure web app and then we will finally test the uh, this mcp server using the postman and inspector right so before i go to uh, this uh, hands on part let me briefly talk about the mcp right so mcp is it's a, it's a new concept in the in the uh, ai world right and it became a very popular and there are several uh, companies, right? They are building their own MCP servers, right? So essentially, MCP it's a it's a model context protocol. It's a open uh, protocol that standardizes the the how the application provide the context to the LLM, right? So so basically, essentially, it 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 uh, uh, standardizes the the way we interact with the LLM model, right? And with this, actually, uh, we can build a MCP server, and then the the client will consume the MCP server, right? And essentially, MCP server will interact with the like local computer files or the data source or API, right? So, uh, essentially, client doesn't doesn't need to uh, build this kind of capability, right? So there will be one MCP server, and client will interact with the MCP server, right? So, so essentially this is the architecture right so basically um in this architecture we have uh, the host right like cloud a id and tools right and then there is a mcp client which is sitting on this uh, this host right which will make a one-to-one -one connection with the mcp protocol to the mcp server and essentially mcp server will interact with the like local data source or the web api and other stuff right and and the for the protocol perspective uh, so basically mcp support uh, two type of uh, transport layer okay and the the one is first one is the studio transport so it uses the standard input output for communication okay and this is ideal for local processes second one is the http with S sse transport so which uses the uh, server sent events for server to client messages and this is good for the application where we have client server kind of uh, uh, mechanism especially for the chatbot right so now let me go ahead and uh, navigate to the vs code okay so so essentially if you see here uh, i have built this uh, uh, small uh, hello world kind of uh, uh, python app okay and essentially what i am doing here is to build this mcp server i'm using the fast mcp library right so so first time what i'm doing is i'm creating the instance and i'm creating the mcp server right and then i'm just uh, mounting this mcp server using the starlet and then uh, i'm using the sse transport uh, um, layer uh, protocol right and then essentially with this uh, server i'm exposing two basic functions or tools like one is to add the numbers and then second is provide the greeting message right so since this is just a demo so i'm not uh, interacting with any api or any the other data source right these are the basic two uh, functions or tools i'm exposing through this right so essentially this is the python code and i have already deployed this in uh, in the azure cloud in the azure web right so i will not show that uh, uh, part here but let me go to the uh, azure cloud and let me show you where it got deployed so it got deployed i used the certain uh, cli command of azure right to deploy this in my web app and this is the my uh, url of this web app right and there actually um, it uh, it has deployed right and i can show you this through the browser so if I go to this site and type and uh, with SSC, then you can see right the communication started, and then I can see the the server is sending the events continuously here, right? It it is the connection and it keeps sending the the detail here, right? 
So now the next part is actually uh, we need to test this, right? So there are there are many ways we can uh, test this, right? And there is a tool called Inspector, right? Uh, that we can use, right? This is the open source tool. It is available in this GitHub, right? We can use this tool. Another way is actually we can also test using the Postman, right? So I can just let me first show you. So this is the URL, right? This is the my uh, MCP URL. I'm just since this uh, uh, Azure app, right, which I hosted, doesn't have any uh, authentication. So I'm just using this as a without authentication. So I think authentication is no. And then once we do send here, so it will start initiate the connection with the uh, with the um, MCP server, and then start it will start interacting with the MCP server, right? So this is how we can we can just see uh, through the postman and see uh, whether it is able to connect or not, right? So now let me show you how we can uh, do this with the MCP, and then essentially we can do more uh, testing, right? This is the kind of uh, visual tool to uh, test or debug the MCP server, right? So essentially the UI is like this, right? So where we can select the transport type, right? We can provide this one, right? So to, to um, install this MCP uh, inspector, right? We can directly use this command and go to uh, command prompt. So let me go to command prompt here. And then let me run this command. So once I do this, what it will do is it will install this uh, uh, inspector in my local and then it will be available in the local of this URL, right? So let me just copy here and let me paste this here. Okay, so so essentially, as I said earlier, low, so MCP support uh, two transport type. One is the SDO. Uh, standard input output and then another is the SSE, right so since uh, we have created uh, this uh, mcp server with the sse transport type so that's why we have to select this one and then let me get this url of this mcp server let me pass here and let me just go ahead and collect so so this is this essentially this inspector server uh, tool also provide authentication so if we have like um, this if this uh, server right if support a better token we can use that here right and there are some other settings like the timeout right and proxy full address right if we have we can provide here right but in my case actually this is very simple uh, thing so I'm not using these things and let me go ahead and collect connect okay so you can see now it got connected right so now so here there are multiple options right we can see the resource we can see the resource template we can see the select the resource template and run it right so let me go ahead and click uh, list resource so okay so and then uh, list template okay so as you can see right so it is showing those method which uh, um, i have in my tool right so it, it has a uh get underscore greeting greeting right so that's why it is showing the template and i can use this i can so this tool expect the parameter i can just pass okay image so then i can do this read resource and then it will integrate with that mcp server and then tool and then it will return so this this return the output here right and that's what actually our uh, this tool does right so this return the the hello and the name right so so essentially this is how um, we can build uh, uh, the the uh, the mcp server right using the python deploy into the uh, azure app and then use the postman and mcp inspector to test this tool right so we can also further um, uh, use this we can integrate this in uh, client like copilot studio and other stuff right we can do that right but maybe I will show you that part in, in the future video. But for for now, I think uh, this is how we can build an end-to-end uh, uh, MCP server. Thank you for watching my video.